Hello, 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 hello. We are back and we are live. Guys, I come to you with something different today. Ronnie G. Stanley is not sitting next to me today, but we have another guest, Deshaun, the Joker, however you want to call it, Deshaun Elliott. Deshaun Elliott, talk to us. Talk to us. Introduce yourself, please. How y'all doing? I'm Deshaun, of course. Everybody knows. All right, he's new to the game. He does not know he has a microphone that he has to talk into, but that's okay. We're going to redo this. Bop, 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 bop. Boom. There we go. Why didn't you say that? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> hey, it's okay. It's okay. I, I forgot to tell you. I see him doing. Yeah, he's lean down again. All good. What's up, man? You know, Deshaun, as everyone knows, um, happy to be here. Marvin invited me, so I had to show up for my dog. You know, guys. Um, it saddens me to say, uh, news um, will be breaking, if not already broke. Ronnie had to go to I'm not sure where, but he had to get a little procedure done on his ankle. But he will be back with us hopefully next week. All depends on how I recover. So if you can, let's get a prayers up for Ronnie G. Stanley as he goes through um, another procedure to to heal the body. Bro. Heal the body. Were you supposed to say that? Speaking on that, not that we want to say on a negative note, but we can turn it to a positive note. Deshaun has battled through many injuries, so he knows a thing or two about what it it's like to come back from an injury and continue to ball. And we're going to fast forward in it that Deshaun just recently had his first career interception in the National Football League. Let's speak on that game-changing play that led us to... Well, actually, it, it went good and it went bad a little quick. But that's okay. Let's speak on the positive. Let's talk about that. Uh, it was just a blessing, bro. If I get that one out the way... You know, I've been through a lot the last couple of years, man. Freaking broke my arm, tore my knee up. And last year, trying to, like, battle, coming back from my knee, just felt good to finally be back out there, playing with all pro Marvo, you know what I'm saying, the, the homies. So, had to be back, man. It's a blessing to have my first pick. I need four more. Yes, sir. But let's talk about the play. I mean, it looked it looked a little like 87 had the rock in his hands. I mean, I didn't know who was going to come out with it. it. Seemed like it was kind of like a Debo, a steal, a robbery. A legal robbery. Definitely legal robbery. But what happened was, really, I seen the quarterback, and I was like, there's no even to try me. He doesn't respect me, bro. He's not he's not <laughs> respecting me, for real. Like, all respect to him, bro. Like, he wasn't respecting me. So I was like, I got to take this. So, no, nah, he didn't even have the ball yet. Like, once the ball got there, my hands were in front of his. Hey, I grabbed the back of the ball, and I pulled hey. it down. He was trying to keep me from uh, catching the ball. Regardless, I deboed it from him. That's how we do it. So, Yeah, man, uh, good Chargers team. Um, it was a good day of work. Yesterday day, it, was, it was or Sunday. Yeah. It was good at work against the Chargers. A good team. I'm Justin Herbert. I like his game though, man. Yeah, he's a young he, talent in the league, bro. He's got some. He's got some good stuff going going on yeah. there. Um, on another note, we recently have found out that the wealthiest ten percent in the U.S. own eighty nine percent of American stocks. Hmm. So I ask you, before you give comments, thoughts, and or concerns on that, I ask you, what do you do with some of your, not to get into your pockets now, we ain't, we ain't pocket watching. Of course. Do you have some stocks and bonds added to your portfolio of funds? Right now, I have a financial advisor. His name is Sean Abood, right? Shout out financial advisor. Nice, and, nice. And uh, he handles all that, honestly. But I know I have stocks. I know okay. I'm in that. I okay. know I'm in that scenario. My money's finally grossing. So grossing, like, yes. It's finally getting up there. So I feel like I can put my money into stocks now. But honestly, I don't know that much about it. I just know he has my money somewhere making me must, making me some money. Anytime I check my account, it looks good. It looks good. And the stocks is going up. So that's all that matter right now. I'm, I'm going to get more into it when I make some more money. I got to make some more money first. Where's this guy out of? He's out of Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. Yeah. Abood? What was Abood. he? He's from Dubai, bro. He's from Dubai? He played football in Dubai. He played football? Yeah. I have a jersey. He's not that big now, but Dubai's got football. I guess they got football, bro. He showed me a picture. He was playing receiver, quarterback, oh, receiver. The, the, the end. Man, it'd be hot out there. Hot, hot. I don't know how he does that. That's be a short quarter. Ooh, man. Yeah, I, I got. Uh, I got. Um, that was actually one of the first things I did when I got some dough. You know, my dad, Mr. Bobby Gene Humphrey, Great father, man. as I call him. Yes, sir. He um he 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 took the driver's seat early on. 
I didn't know what the crap I was supposed to do, but luckily I was very blessed to have a father that kind of put me in the right direction. I, I got some some stocks with a someone in Birmingham, good old Hoover in Hoover, yeah, bro. And um, I have banks out there. You can, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you bank? Right? Are you banked with a Hoover bank? Or are you bank like? He's uh. Well, my dad. My dad works at the bank. When you make that much money, right? <laughs> I say serious question. Serious question. <laughs> How many, like, do you have to put your money in different like a multiple accounts? Or? Well, you know, you're supposed to actually what is it? I think it's only 250k. If your bank went bank, if everything went crazy, world yeah. went blah. Yeah. And you had 10 million in the bank, in one bank. Yeah. The government is only supposed to. They're only liable up to 250k. What? If I'm not mistaken, that's true. I think I actually no. I know for sure I've heard that from someone that knows what they're talking about. Is that true for the true rich, rich, rich man? You know the rules don't really always apply yeah. for the rich, rich. You know Maybe have I mean? offshore accounts and other. Yeah, so for them, be, but I think for the normal peeps like us, yeah, I believe that is supposed to be true. Mm. So, yeah, I mean, what are the chances of that happening? I think pretty rare. At this, especially it's twenty twenty one. I don't think it's going to happen. Like yeah, I, I couldn't see it happening, but if it happened, like what? What what happened back in the day? What happened back in the day when everything went crazy? Was that stock market, you mean? Was that stock market crash? Yeah, when the stock market crashed. The recession. the recession? There it is, the recession. Both? That was in a long time ago, though. Wait. I think it was seven. What 07? year? What? Oh, seven. The recession was seven. Wait, I thought. Oh, I'm wait. thinking of no, like. The recession was, was oh, seven. Yeah, but what I'm thinking that? about. That's the crash when the stock market crashed. That's what you're talking what about. What year was that? That was, was pictures still black and white? Yeah, I'm thinking... Yeah. A quick editor's note. Marlon was talking about the Great Depression back in the 1930s. That was the stock market crash. The Great Recession was the housing market crash. And that was 07. I, thought that I, was. I was thinking like black and white. I was with you. Yeah, I, 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 like I think we might still be talking about something different. No, for real. Because I've seen a couple movies, I think. It said something about the stock market crashing a long time ago. I think... There was a movie, I think housing something that's that's a whole different story um yeah that's that's a whole different story let's get on to films 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 as you know when you get the time to i watch a lot of films watch a lot you know you Not go through much. your day you know when you sit down and recently you season three has come back out Mm -hmm. First few seasons were pretty pretty wild. Have you got into season three? Have you first of all are you familiar with with? I've you? watched every season. I'm on episode five, I think, of season three right episode now. Five. Episode Have five. you started? I started it. Uh, I think I'm on. I think I'm on three or four. But man, I'm gonna be honest with you. You tired of it? It's it's just. It, uh, I feel like the first two, one <laughs> and two, were kind of, you know, somewhat realistic. Yeah. The third one is just out of pocket. Fake, fake. I mean, the, and without giving things away, the, the girl is just out of control. She needs help. She no, she needs like majorly help. But she at needs, the same time, she needs bro, to go to jail. He all, they I both need to go to jail. Yes, but he, exactly. she exactly. This is like it's 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 almost like too much for me, which is is a very rare statement for me to say. But one thing I can say though, bro, like yeah, she's crazy, right? But her man, her man's is wild and. Like, fam, what? Why can't you just stop obsession, obsessing over these women? Like, he had the problem. No, no, no. He he's sick. He he's yeah, no, he's he's definitely different. She was wild. Of Let me stop. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, we well, can't give it away. All we right. love with on Guru Punch. We spoil after the week. We talk about something. Okay, so just so y'all know, y'all need to catch up because next week might be spoiler alert. But we can't. Well, let me right first now. introduce. That's 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 the model. Right, 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 right. But now they both need help. But I, it's too much. I, for some reason, I'm putting myself into his shoes because he's like the little narrate. No, no, he, is, Pro, he basically is the protagonist. Narrator. Yeah, he is a protagonist. Boy, I remember something about. Hey, <laughs> hey I didn't know about school. Boy, school. Hey, well, I did learn something in school. That's the he's a protagonist. Education. He be talking, so it's like it's really personable to him. And yeah. I'm just like, man, this. He should have left. Cause think about it. What if she was a protagonist? Like, well, I wonder what goes on in her brain. The shit. This. Oh, my bad. The language on it. How do y'all? You okay with that? Hey, 
Today, this is your show. Oh, wait. Hey, <laughs> all right, guest, man. man. All right. I'm the guest. This is I'm your back. show, man. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, so, feel free. You know, this is your show. But I'm going to be honest, man. Ah, oh, man. It's going to be pretty good. I, I'm going to have to keep watching because I'm going to have to keep watching. You got to. But it's just too much, man. The guy's out of con- or She's out of control. The guy's out of control. But a good season. You guys should check that out. Um, if you haven't watched season one or two, you really don't even need to watch. Just skip to three. Just skip to three. Even though one or two is better than three. But I have another question. With the crew. Have you seen the um, trailer for uh, Black Adam with The Rock? You should watch it, bro. The Rock? Dwayne Johnson. Oh, oh yeah. That's yeah. Black Adam? Black Adam. It's, a, it's like a superhero thing. Like, oh, it's a movie? Yeah, it's a movie. It's a movie. It's coming it's, out. It's number one? It's the first show? It hasn't came out yet. The movie hasn't came out yet. Oh, it's the a trailer. It's on Netflix. No, 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 no. The trailer movies, for movies. it's like a DC comics movie. It's DC stardom type of thing. You should you, see it. You watch the trailer. I watched the trailer. Dwayne Johnson is, is a star of the movie. Let me tell it's you. Gonna be fire. Let me tell you guys something. Okay. You want to see a good movie? Do you want to see a good movie? Go to the theater. Walk up. Say, hey, can I get a ticket for a movie showing right now? He's going to look up like, what? What do you mean? A movie showing right now. Whatever movie is showing at that time, buy a ticket, go sit in theater, know nothing about the movie, watch it, finish it, you won't be disappointed. Trailers ruin movies. You want to know why? Why? Why, Why, Marlon? Why? This is why. You watch a trailer, you not have an expectation of how the movie's going to go. As opposed to you going in completely raw, You sit there. You don't even know a single thing about the movie. You have no expectation. You're seeing the movie for what it is. Pause, by the way, earlier, but keep going. (laughs) You're seeing it for what it is. I saw what is, to me, considered my favorite movie. Bad Times at the El Royale. I believe that's how it's said. Thor was in it. No, Thor Thor, or the, the character. The, the guy car- The guy right Thor there. Not Thor action figure the like Thor Yes Okay Thor was in it I really forgot who else was in it Chris Hemsley What's his name Hensworth Hensworth yeah. Hensworth Thor was in it And some other people was in it Good actors Thor was actually being a hippie In the movie It was actually really weird To see Thor Being like this weird hippie He had no muscles No he was still kind of big But he was acting uh, all like Different Yeah Weird Weird moving Type stuff Whatever Anyway, the movie was kind of weird. It was different. It was in like a hotel. You thought you had a mirror in your room, but really somebody could see you. There was a hallway where like, if you wanted to, you could see what anybody was doing in their rooms. I really forgot how it all went, but the movie was fire because I didn't know nothing about it. I just went in there, sat down. Mm. When I go see a movie now, I purposely show up 20 minutes late because I don't want to see a single preview so you think that if i get in there early i'm just blah blah texting on my phone because i don't even want to look up you think that can happen with any movie like yes movie? i've seen some trash movies bro see 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 because you had an expectation so you're saying when you go to netflix right don't watch it don't even you just think about took it a random movie don't, don't even movie? think about it okay now netflix you might take an l okay i was to say netflix you might take an l because you mean box office yes only boxing now don't do that on netflix now netflix it's got some good, but it has you way more trash. Else. Okay, make it has sure. way more trash. Yeah, than, for a fact. Okay, I'm about to say, hold on, bro. Hold like, on. I'll just say this. Netflix got lucky with Squid Game. They did. Netflix about so many films that are like produced in other countries, like probably for, I'm assuming, for a cheaper price. Of course. And hoping else. like that they hit. hit. That's what I think Netflix philosophy is. Do I know that? No, I no. do not. But... And some of them don't just the words Squid don't even match it, up, though. and it, it's hard for a movie to be that great or a show if the words don't match up. That actually grinds my gears, bro. When a movie like the subtitles and the mouthing like words don't match up, that yeah. really irritates me, bro. Bro, Marcus said he watched Squid Game in Korean. He lying. <laughs> <laughs> he said cow. him and his wife that's watched cow. Squid Games in Korean. And now, I don't know Korean, bro. I know. And I was thinking the same thing. But he was like, it was, he said it was fire like that. Bro, he just be talking. That's no Well, you got to think about it. You got to think about it. 
right now. You know, he got his surgery. So he probably just like trying. He to probably finish. can got the time to really just be like, I have really nowhere to go right now. For real, I'm for real. gonna watch it in Korean. He might have watched it in English, ran it back again in Korean. I don't know how. Uh, look, I've heard that's how some people try to learn. Like some people take the time to do that and like change it to um, Spanish. People See, learn Spanish by do doing that. that. I want to do that, man. Man, I want to. I need to learn Spanish. That's hard, bro. I took four classes. I still don't know the Spanish. Man, I failed Spanish too in high school. You failed it by Wait, like one point. For real? Then got a sixty-nine. Why you? And the teacher didn't show cheat, me, bro. She didn't show me love. She don't you know love. What grade was this? Freshman year. Uh you wasn't Arpo Malo yet. <laughs> I wasn't making no plays. <laughs> I wasn't making no plays. Nah. I mean, I think. I mean, I was man. We did a fresh. We had a freshman campus. Yeah. For real. So we was. Doing football in the morning. Is Hoover private school? No, 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 no. It was weird that I was the last class of it. We were doing football in the morning at the high school. Mm-hmm. Bussing to the freshman campus. Then we was bussing back at the end of the day to the high school for track practice. I mean, I'm a I'm a freshman. I mean, I'm going back and forth. Bro, eh, why? Eh. why? Am I really worried about day? classes? No. No, nah, it wasn't horrible in class, but I mean, classes, I was all right. Eh, maybe. But am I worried about Spanish? No. But did I think she was going to let me fail with a 69? That's going to let you pass with at least a 70. Was you nice in class or did you talk about it? I, think I, I don't think I was mean to her, though. She was a younger teacher, though. Oh, uh, so she had more patience. She had more patience. But she still gave you 69. And I thought she wasn't like that, but she was. Yeah. So <laughs> it was it was a... It was a misunderstanding by both parties. She's on the wrong time. But she was never acting like it was really. I don't even know. You thought, no, you thought you thought y'all were cool, huh? I think I did. You thought I, y'all think, was cool. I thought I thought we was cool. I think so. Uh, bringing in I don't breakfast remember her name though. <laughs> I do remember my eighth grade teacher. She was Senora Casey. She failed you too. No, no, no. I was good there. I was good there. I was good there. I was good there. Um. All right. No, 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 no. Spanish. No, but one day, seriously, my sister took it, took four years of Spanish in LSU. Does she know Spanish? Oh, you told me y'all went out of the country and she spoke Spanish for you, right? Yes. Shout out to Britley. Knowing Espanol. Mm. Man, eh, yo hablo. Yo hablo Espanol. You only know that. Look at that. William Shatner. Kevin, is that right? Yes. William Shatner, who is... So William Shatner was the original Kirk in Star Trek. You what? Do you know Star Trek? I've heard of it. Do you... you I feel like Star Trek is definitely Caucasian vibes. Yeah, it's Caucasian vibes. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But continue with with Shatner. So, basically, William Shatner was the first 90-year-old to go to space. So, playing a character on a TV show who, you know, pretended to go to space. This was his chance to really go to space. And he had a few words about it and said it was an incredible experience. Oh, he really went to space, like real life. He really went to space. Oh, Okay, so Star Trek, he fake went to space. Yes. It, it's Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That is why. That's why. That's, that's kind of cool. That's why. Okay. That's and he why. waited until he was 90 to go. Well, probably Jeff Bezos probably did it or something like that. Yeah, it was Jeff Bezos. It was? Yep. Oh, he was on that trip. He was on that trip. That's yes. what. That's oh, what. Bezos is already back? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, it was that like was a, a quick trip. Nah, they, didn't, they went to like the, I think the first layer or like that, second layer. Oh, do you know? First layer? Like of orbit, like different layers of orbit. Yeah, I think it was the. Oh, they just went to space and just chilled in the air. Yeah, they were trying to say oh, yeah. we did it because like. Why don't nobody go to the moon anymore? I don't know if we even did that, bro. Hey, hey, I low key. I, I, we even went back since, but we all oh, the technology we got. I be thinking the same thing, but I don't really know nothing about space. But I would want to go to the moon. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just go to space and chill, float. Nah, I want to be able to go see something, like actually, like not things. I want not other. Talking about aliens. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it ain't not. Well, well, they, is there so, is there another? Yes. Presence. There's other places that could sustain life, so I know there's other. Life. There's anything is aliens up there? For them, they wouldn't be aliens. For them, they would be the natives, and we would be the aliens if we went to their place. So. I don't really know what to call them in that instance, but they wouldn't be aliens. We would be the aliens because we'd be in there. Yeah, I learned that off a movie too. What movie? I can't remember, but I watch a lot of movies, bro. I... Man, 
And is there really aliens though? I don't. Please? It's like I want to believe that, but it's like I don't know. Question. So you think? So right now, you don't think there's different beings on Earth that we don't know about, and the government has not told us about. It's a lot they don't tell us. Man, you got to think about. See, sometimes I try to put myself into the government shoes. Actually, I take that back. I try to put myself in people's shoes that I don't know about. That when stuff like this happen, happen. you can't tell us everything. You can't. You can't tell us that. It would go crazy. We would go crazy. <laughs> People would be trying to just, it would just be chaotic. Murderers, it would be like a lot of yeah, random. Yeah, it'd be chaotic, especially yeah. when something comes out what? and it's like, oh, this is a rumor. The government can't confirm nor deny. They did confirm. Did there's aliens? It was, didn't, am I wrong? Didn't they confirm that? I think they did. They confirmed that there's aliens. Because uh, there's, I think it was like, <laughs> I forget if it was like July 1st or some specific day they released all they knew about extraterrestrial life or something like that. I can't remember the specifics about it, though. I think it's some wild stuff in the sea that we'll never know about, though. Oh, yeah. We only know, like, 10% of water, right? We only know 10%, 10% See, I deep. just don't understand. Um, yeah, that, that's true. That is that is very true. Yeah. But, 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 but. Can we get to all the planets? All the... I mean, I don't know. I mean, the nine... Can we? The eight planets that we have? I don't... Well, oh, you mean the other solar systems, the other like galaxies? They were talking about Mars as a one-way trip. What? So because you stay there, I think so. Well, I think because it's such a long years. Distance. Yeah. Or oh, you'll die. Well, the amount of fuel or the amount of you can't carry supplies. Enough. Yeah, something like that. So basically, we need to have so you're dying. What's that? In, in something in movies they always say uh, like hyperspeed. We need to figure out a way to get. Our engines into hyperspeed to be able to make it to all the way to the eighth planet. Hyperspeed, you like now you now I don't even think that's real hyperspeed. No, nah, I saw movies like I don't know what the, like, what the actual terms would be if it was real you life. Thinking, but, you remind me of is it Guardians of the Galaxy? They they do that definitely. I don't even know what I'm talking about. That's right. I mean, they do do that, but it's a lot of it's a lot of places, a lot of movies that's done that before. All right, man. Um. Yeah, we're 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 out of there right now. No, we didn't on this at all. on the space. No, 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 no. But 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 there's something I was about to say. How much? If someone said Deshaun, we want to pay you to take this one way trip to Mars. You can bring your family, whoever. You can bring half million people you want. How much? Is there is there like civilization on Mars already? Like there is housing. There's everything there. There's a plan. They're saying there's going to be. It's basically going to be a, a whole new state. It's going to be. You're going to be the start. You're going to be the president. How much? I think I'm good, bro. Oh! I think I'm good. Sean, we want you to be the king of Mars. I might die. I might get there and somebody already but be there. But then you also could be a legend. You're right. You could be a legend. Would you do it? Your kids. Your kids are like, man, my dad made this place. My dad I, the king. I, I've, I've seen too many, movies, too many shows where like that type of stuff happens. And the first round always goes bad. The second and third round is when you really want to go. I'm okay with not being. Nah, I'm not going, period. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. What do you mean? Uh, I'm not going. Say if the earth's dying, you're still not going to go. Oh, the earth's dying? The earth, earth's dying. The earth is legit dying. Dying. Literally, it's dying. I mean, it's dying now, but it gets. it's going to get worse. I mean, why not? I ain't tripping. But if the earth ain't dying... <laughs> I'm, I'm solid. I you just, did. yeah. I was just trying to say how much you know, but I ain't nah, going to I'm trying to tell you, bro. <laughs> yeah, but shout out to William Shatner. You're never too old to chase a dream. You're not. The you're man not. was 90. Surprised he ain't rolled over and choked it. That's crazy. Shoot. That's a long that's not, a, 90 is a good life, man. Bro, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I've always said to myself, I really don't want to live that long. See, it depends, man. If you pooping on yourself and all that. So I'm saying, I don't want that. But still, but you got to think about this. Your grandkids. Yeah. It's still, you know, if you can, you know. If I can function, I'm good. Bingo. If I can't function. I'm... Hey, it's like uh, Jimmy stairs. Smith said. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. So when you get to be 70, if you feel good, just. You got to keep running. Go run a mile. Yeah. If you can. Be active. Probably, your probably. Your heels might, be, you might break your hip. But That's the whole thing. You got to get the bones be fragile. Put some knee pads on. Put some shoulder pads on. What? <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, safety. Remember when people? What Put you a tell me? On. You Literally. told me the other day that people like. 
I they ex- when they see you, they expect you to have shoulder pads on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, guys, believe it or not, if you ever see a football player, believe it or not, we do not walk around with shoulder pads on or a helmet on. So we will not be as big as we look on television, believe it or not. But I think some people um, think we do, think we do, or something, or expect us to be much bigger. But we do not. Um, but the Chicago Sky, mm. shout out to the Sky. Shout out to Shot Town. Winning the mm-hmm. WNBA championship. I have a flashback from my childhood days back when I actually forgot the coach's name. Tennessee's coach, Pat. Pat. Shh. What? Who is Tennessee's coach name? Girls basketball. Summit? Pat Summit. Oh, the Pat Summit. Oh, Pat I Summit. She retired, right? I used to be what? And she passed away. Oh, R.I.P. to her. RP one of my championships. I remember watching Candace Parker and Pat Summit putting up numbers back in the day. Mm. I'm. That's when I don't. I don't know. It seemed like like my household was actually fans of Tennessee basket women's basketball. Why is that? I'm not sure, but we used to really be watching it. And Candace Parker was out there balling. Tennessee in your family? Nobody. But I feel like it used to be on TV a lot more than what it may be. I don't even know. Anyway, I remember Candace Parker balling. She's on the Chicago Sky and doing NBA TV. She's broadcasting. Shout out to Candace Parker. But what was sad? What was sad? The Phoenix Mercury? Mercury. That's their further name. They declined to do the media after they, after after they took an L. Oh, that's what that was about? Sore. Losers in my eyes. Oh, bro, I did not know. That's why they See, declined. I thought they were tr- doing like a uh, because of the, yeah. I thought they were trying financial to, reasons. I yeah, like, I thought they were upset. I thought equality. they were trying to boycott. Yeah, equality type thing. Now maybe they were, but I thought the winning team did that. I, I had it completely wrong with my timeline. Dang, but I mean, just they were selfish. They were just, kinda, uh, that's, yeah, selfish. Uh, you know, it's just not. It's called sportsmanship, man. Sportsmanship. No, no, we done did some wild things after a dub. I don't be going crazy after. I don't. I don't. You didn't. When? Do you have to rewind back to Tennessee? Okay, year? that's that. The, the, don't forget. Yeah, that. but you don't go. You, it it ends on the field. Yeah, it doesn't. End on the field. I, I think it personally ends on it the does, field. You go does. to the media. It you does. don't be just wilding out. You're right. You're right. You know what I mean? It's, you can't, it's yeah. a respect thing to to not only you and your team, but also to the media members. You're right. Right. So, you know, I think it's a lot of times, man, you know, I think every athlete's sometimes guilty of it. You know, not every athlete. You know, sometimes athletes get mad at the media, man. But a lot of times, for the most part, the media is just trying to do their job. You're right. They're just trying to do their job. Sometimes they go a little over the top. You know what I mean? But they, they definitely go over the top, though, for him. They, they do. And sometimes they make stuff up. But at the end of the day, they're really just trying to do their job. It is their job. Well, how about this? The media that comes to you, like, say we're sitting at a podium and they're talking to you, majority of the time, they're there and they're trying to do their job. The ones on TV, I think they blow shit out of their ass. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> bro, they're just doing their job too, though. It's they're, they're, they're literally just clickbait, bro. Uh, sometimes, 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 sometimes for sure. But I'm just thankful the NFL media is not like the NBA media. Oh, yeah. They be asking now, wild. The people that be asking the question, they, I, I think they be purposely trying to make the NBA players mad. No, okay. They be, saying, they be asking some stupid questions. Yeah, they be asking stuff that, like, especially if you lose, you would actually be mad at. Be like, bro, have you seen that meme of uh, Russell Westbrook? He's just like. Yeah, he said. I remember it, it was like, Russell, did you guys lose this game or did the other team win this game? <laughs> And that's why he was like, yeah, I, those, those the, the NF, so shout out to the NFL media. You guys really ain't, ain't the ones that ask the question, y'all really ain't that bad. But, no but the NBA, y'all, y'all really should. Y'all be wild. Y'all should do better. Yeah. Based, based off what I hear. Speaking of NBA. And bro, the, the ex, one thing, for, former players are always so rude, bro. You talking about basketball or football? I mean, either, but basketball, like they're more rude than Yeah, than well, well, I think they be trying to, they be trying to troll people too. Like Shaq, talking about Shaq, Shaq, now? Shaq be on Shaq, Shaq be Shaq on. Shaq and Charles Barkley, bro. Yeah, they be going. They crazy. get disrespectful, bro. Yeah, that 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 could probably get cleaned up a little bit, probably. 
Yeah, that that could definitely get cleaned up mm. a little bit. But they start fast forward about about ten years. Well, I'm on year five. About ten years. Yeah. Y'all check the boy out You know what I mean I ain't gonna be wilding out no. I'm about to ask You gonna be on there Being disrespectful I ain't, No I ain't gonna be wilding out I ain't gonna be wilding out I'm not gonna be wilding Bro so you can do college game. Do you wanna do college game day Or do you wanna do NFL Man day? I'm torn in but no, no, no. What I really wanna do I wanna be able to Do the uh, Do both Like I don't really wanna be the I wanna be like Shannon Sharp Oh Sk- And Skip Oh You wanna, wanna do all sports I wanna do all Oh, so I gotta start watching Wayne. I gotta start watching hockey. I gotta start knowing a little bit about everything. Baseball. You know you get no sleep, right? I know they probably don't get no sleep because they have to watch every. Game. every they day. probably got it. They probably their cribs probably got TVs everywhere. Everywhere, and they're always up, bro. They wake up like probably like five a.m. Yeah, no caps. Skippy. Up. Oh. Yeah, skip. Fitted in that suit with this with this suit. Hey, I don't mind wearing a suit every day now. Nah, he, you gonna be fitted now. <laughs> Y'all should have seen the coat jacket he had on at first. Yeah. Coat well, was kind of clean, well, it but like it was somebody little... Pennington. I don't know the last, I don't know the first name, but like his last name was Pennington with the was, elbow was, patch it was, it, was, on. it was clean for the for the viewers that that um, just listening. You know, got a little what he did, a little green. This fit by Pit? Nah, it's not fit by Pit. It's not fit by Pit. Shout out to Fish by Pit. We had a fit this weekend that was not fit by Pit, so do not judge him. <laughs> if y'all didn't see, it was all straight denim fit, cowboy hat on. Shout out to Boot Barn. Shout it, out to Boot Barn. It wasn't Barn. that bad though, bro. I thought you, honestly, bro, from being from clean. Texas, from being from Dallas, bro, I thought you was low key clean. No. It was clean. But some people was hating. Because you had the pants on the inside. See, I got it. People, I don't care what you say, male or female. They say the females tuck in the jeans in the yes. boots. Males pull the jeans over. Yes. I'm not buying boots with these sick fire patterns on the boots and covering up with jeans. You want, they got to be seen. That's, they got to be seen. You're going to see me. Exactly. Oh, okay. So that's like buying some red bottoms and not walking around kicking your feet up. You do gotta kick your feet up. You got you gotta see y'all gonna see the bloody. So that's why you was doing that a couple weeks ago. Y'all gonna see the bloody. This man had y'all the gotta red see the bottom. blood. Uh, what were they? What, what kind of shoes were they? Were they uh, it was dress shoes. There was loafers. There were red bottom loafers on, and he was forcing it. You, you gotta see, see that the bottom bottoms. of that red. You gotta see the bottoms. Deshaun Elliott, I was inspired today. Really? Why? I had the opportunity to go be around, present with a couple judges in mm. Baltimore mm. and some graduates mm. of the drug court here. It's basically a program, pretty intensive program, um, with a couple nonviolent crime offenders that have dealt with substance abuse. And it is likely that the, their substance abuse they've dealt with has made them, you know, kind of commit some of these crimes and it's a way mm-hmm. to reduce your sentence and or wipe your sentence if you can go through this program and graduate how long was the graduation the graduation was two hours no i'm saying how long like how long is the they tell you how long oh, the period was like, or just kind of like, like two years like how two long years. they go to the program yeah the like program. two years and like you're very it's a very hands-on thing like each judge that gave them their certificate mm-hmm. they had like a whole page written about them like they knew them personally yeah people were and I was a keynote speaker. Um, mm. They they allowed me to to be the keynote speaker, and it was crazy, man. People were people were saying, "Thank you for saving my life. Thank you for this." You know, people's family were there. Some t- a couple of tears shed. Man, it was it was a very. It made me have a deeper love for the higher ups in the city, man. The judges that were there. It was it was good, man. I really enjoyed it, but man, it was just crazy to, you know, be around. Those people shaking, shaking their hand, and you know it, it was something to be very proud of. And we, I say that because it seems like in today's day and age, we don't really ever celebrate your own victories. Yeah, your personal, your yeah. own personal victories. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, you did something, I right, over with. Mm-hmm. So it's a time to just celebrate <clears throat> you, your own, you celebrate yeah. you. Yeah, you know what I mean, and I felt like we don't do that enough, and that was. In my speech, that's what I encourage them to do and to continue to go. Yeah. You know, I brought up Darren Waller because I yeah. remember when he got back. Yeah. And um, he was so excited that he was cleaned up and sober. And so if y'all are struggling with those substance abuse things, man, just know the fight's never done. It's an everyday battle, just like everyone's struggles they deal with. It's an everyday battle. Yeah. I think you might deserve a key to the city, Marvo. <laughs> 
I'm saying? Oh, oh man, let me get a key to the city, man. Let me get a key to the city. Kevin's gonna get this next topic. Talk to us. All right. So basically, I don't know, do you want me to set the scenario for you? Or set you the scenario, me? set the scene. Please. All right. <laughs> so it's a late night. Late You're night. You're in your bed. Yep. You're just trying to go to sleep. And boom, you hear something crash through the ceiling. Ah, ah. Lying right next to you. What do you think? You get up, you look, boom, there's a meteorite right in your living room or your bedroom. I don't know why you're sleeping in your living room. But that's what happened to this grandmother in Canada. Why what? Yes. So Yes. What? Yes. Yeah. So a grandmother was nearly hit by a meteorite while sleeping in her bed. A Canadian woman was sleeping in her bed when she heard a loud noise and her dog started barking. She looked up and saw a hole, a hole in her ceiling and after looking around found a strange gray object laying on her bed. It was three pounds and the size of her fist. How did that not burn through her bed? I okay. have no idea. You know how much speed that would have had coming, coming out of the sky? Okay. Uh, so, like, how's your fist? Her fist is t- small. Probably small. Too. small. Like, probably like a... What, that big? But it was one. three pounds. Small. That's a, I mean, uh, it's a, it's a rock. Uh, it's a big rock. Bro, I bet that joint was sizzling. Sizzling. I know she hurts. If this goes, if this happens to me, man, that would be kind of crazy. That's wild, bro. First off, first off, if it landed on your bed, you probably should have died. You probably, yeah, for a fact. Doesn't it have like, you know what I'm talking about? A ripple effect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should yeah, have a ripple effect. Yeah. So you were, she lying. first off, very, she <laughs> lying. <laughs> Uh, so you're very close to dying. Um, I mean, you just luck, man. I mean, you need to send one up to the good Lord for real. I'm surprised his grandma real? didn't have like a heart attack or something. Yeah. First off, for her to not realize what's going on. That's what I'm saying. Like she's definitely a little older. Something out just out the sky. Like you, honestly, I'm getting up instantly. Like what? Yeah, I would have popped right up. Popped right up. Popped right up. I probably would have started running. What, bro? <laughs> I hey, probably definitely would have started running. In a couple months, you're going to come out and say she got some type of virus or something. Watch. Oh. That might. I bet she, Oh, some like. Uh, Maybe. Yeah. Some like. Uh, hey, remember I said it first. Yeah. That yeah. type of radiation. Radiation. Yeah. Man. Grandmother might. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if she had some sort of radiation problem. But wait, what is. I don't even know what a meteorite really. This is a rock. Yeah. That's all it really is. But do they know for a fact it's a meteorite? Yeah. They know yeah. for a fact that it was a meteorite. What state was this in? Uh, it was in Canada. Mm. Canada? I yeah. Canada. Mm. I don't know specifically where. That's actually kind of weird. I don't know what type of stuff's going on up there in Canada, but... You ever been? I've never been. I want to go. I want to go too, bro. I've never been, bro. Yeah, I want to go. I hear it snows a lot. Not that <laughs> I want to go in it snowing, but... Hey, it's extremely yeah, I, thought, cool. I, I heard it's just really nice. I just, just want to see the scenery. I think uh, my brother, I think he was, I think he played in the CFL. He might have done training camp in the CFL for a little bit. But yeah, I, brother? I never got over there, clearly. All right. Two questions for you. Two questions. All you. We need long versions. One. <laughs> that was a major pause. One. <laughs> When's the last time you got in a fight? Okay. Nah, actually, nah, that's we it. can't do that one. That's it. Why? What do you mean? Give the give. Okay, give a different one. Oh, not the first, <laughs> not the last time. The last, the second last time. Yeah, let's go all the way back. Yeah, actually, just give your best last time you got in a fight. Best last time. Let's, don't tell us when you when you got beat up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Loki! Oh, I did. I got beat up one time. Exactly. See, everybody, nobody wants. To, everybody does that. They're like, nah, no, I, got beat up. I got beat up. All of a sudden, nobody loses fights. The thing now. was, everybody you asked about a fight, somehow they always won. No okay. count. Now nobody gets beat up nowadays. <laughs> Loki, the one time I got beat up, fam, I thought I won that fight. I really did. See, now I think I won a fight one time that I think I actually lost to. But that's another story. We're talking about you. Then I seen it on video and said, "Oh yeah, now I lost that. I know I lost that when I seen the video." <laughs> but okay, okay. The last one, on. not the last one I won, but the e. I'm, I'm gonna say the easiest one. I wouldn't consider it a the fight. best one. We the need best. the best one. We need the best one the, was, was a one hit a quitter. See, but that ain't got no. Okay, tell us the backdrop. Come on, let's hear it. Backdrop. 
we was, I was riding a bus home with my sister from school. You know what I'm saying? I usually sit in the front of the bus. She sits at the back of the bus. All right. I didn't know you had a sister, bro. I had two younger sisters, bro. I'm the oldest of three. Yeah. Okay. I don't talk about my family. I'm not that type of guy. I had to keep my life. Why did I not know that, though? Okay. My family has rarely ever comes here. Okay. Proceed. Proceed. Um, oh, so um, my mind on business, hanging out with my friends at the front of the bus. My sister walks her. Wait, so, pause, pause. Yeah. What grade were you in? I'm like eighth grade. You were sitting at the front of the bus? Yeah. I thought the cool kids sat in the back. I I thought it was cool yeah. to sit in the back. I got on a bus last, bro. I always like. Oh, you and you ain't had no street clout. You ain't had no clout. I didn't you, care. Nobody had your seat in the back. Nobody was holding it down. Uh, I, I didn't really care, bro. Sound like you was w- getting. I'm just saying, okay. Okay, bro. I'm not, I wasn't the type that cared, bro. All right, so back to what I was saying. But you were sitting with the bus driver. <laughs> nah, watch out, bro. You talking to the bus driver? <laughs> nah, bro. I'm just saying. I mean, you sitting at the front. No, you talking bro. to the bus okay, driver? Okay, okay. That's your home. Not the front, front, but like the mid front. You said the front, but now you said mid front. Okay, proceed, proceed, proceed. <laughs> and so she walks to the front of the bus, and she tells him, she goes, "The guy back there, he put his hands on me." No. 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 <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Oh, I did, bro. I, I didn't even think, bro. I got up, walked to him. He's like, he's watching me walk to him, like walk up to him. Like The yeah. bus is moving right now. The bus is moving. The bus driver, I'm telling you, just hold on, sit down, please. No, I want to. You ain't hit no bumps. You're not, are you stable? I it's, mean, no, nah, we're stable. It's a neighborhood. Okay. It's a neighborhood. You got balance. You yeah, got balance. I got some balance. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So he's watching me walk up to him. And he, I know his head. He's like, there's nobody's got this. I don't know what guy who just like lets someone just walk up to him and doesn't like, like you know what I'm saying? He's, oh, he was just he was he was sitting in the seat. No, he I mean he stood up. Oh, he stood. He, but he acted you. like he was just like I guess he didn't think I was about to hit him. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, I didn't. If I'm going to hit you, I don't. There's nothing to be said. I'm not gonna be, oh, I'm about to hit you or oh, what's up? No, I walked up to him, hit him one time in the face. He fell and it was done. And he dropped, I, dropped he like, drops, a, he like dropped, a sack of sour apples. Like a sack of sour apples. <laughs> and I turned around, went back to my seat, sour and apples. sat down. I had ISS for two weeks. But did the bus, now nah, surely driver, the bus driver. The bus driver didn't know how to stop the bus. Yeah, you was definitely sitting in the front, and the bus driver. But she know. snitched. That's how I got in trouble. So the dude was laid out. Yes. Just passed out. He slotted all on the ground and crap. No, no, no. He fell, you know, fell. Then his hand, his friends helped him up and put him in the seat. And was, he was, was he unconscious? Not unconscious, but he fell. And he, you know how I go someone. Okay, so he was asleep, but he was asleep. Yeah, you know how he, he was. Fall. Boom. Okay, okay. Let's let's put it in the terms of of Wilder. Ooh, Fury. Oh, you know how Wilder went down. Boom. But he wasn't. He, he boom was on the ground. Kind of phase, kind of okay, days. Phase. Drunk you know legs. Saying? Yeah. You know Dude for sure had drunk legs. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Spaghetti legs type shit. And his homies, it, none of his homies jumped in? It's one on one. I'm saying they didn't try to push you, or uh, I guess no, it was one. One on one. I guess it was one punch sour apples. You know what I'm saying? One on one. You can't. You didn't, then you're doing that, then you have to fight the whole. My game too much. My, the homies going to hop in too. I'm, I'm not doing that on no bus. And then what your sister said? My sister, my sister's actually, I love you. But you know you are. My sister, she just sat down with her friends. My sister's worse than me, though. She used to get into fights all the time, like on a regular basis. How let's 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 go with the size. Let's so let, we, let's paint the whole picture. I feel like I got let's paint the whole I picture. got I got most of the picture painted. All right. Here. So let's go with size differential. Were, were you bigger, smaller? You know what I mean. I kind of at the time I was skinny, but I still have a I still have a Gucci belly though. You had a little, you had a, be- had a so what grade pudge. was this in? What grade? This eighth grade. Oh yeah, you said eighth grade. You already eighth said grade. that. I had a little pudge. You had a little pudge. A little pudge. She wasn't an athlete in eighth grade. I was an athlete, but I, I ate a lot. You ate a lot. She was lot. like a linebacker. Nah, I still play. You, you put your hand in the dirt? Nah, I still play receiver, DB, and running back. Okay, and this dude was built like, um, who do we have? I don't want to say, not like Ant. Not, not Ant, Ant, for Ant. Oh, he was slim. Oh, double was, A, double A? No, no, he was slim. He was slim, but he was like a good five. Ten. So you mean to tell me you walked right? Oh, six. So you like five ten. Why was you that tall in eighth grade? Oh. That's another story. Okay, so we got two yeah, five ten, six foot. foot. Damn, well, how tall are you? Eighth grade? You had a little gut, so you was basically the fury. Damn, hold on, bro. Watch up. Well, you said you had a gut. Not that big though. Okay, so it's like a happy belly. Like you I medium ate. chubby. 
Yeah, I was and you there. walked up to this dude. And he known you had that that thing on that right. It was a right hook. I don't know. It I was a jab or a hang. That bit was a jab. Yeah. Boom, bitch. At, Dropped him. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, hey. <laughs> as you need. Oh, <laughs> game one. <laughs> Out of there. I ain't gonna lie to you. I felt like I was that man. I felt like I was and that man. And you literally just no. T- so I, uh, so there was no anger when you got up out your seat. No. See that's why. So you low key snuck him. No, snuck him. No, he. If he knows he put his hands on my sister, right? How what am I he, sticking? And he knew that was your sister. He yes, we look. Me, me, me and my sister looks just alike. Me, us, and that guy, we've been riding the same bus for almost what, two years. So okay, I think the picture's painted. What happened after this? You went to Isaac's for two weeks. Two weeks. But next time you seen buddy, was there beef? Was there? He lucky seen a little. Like he said, I, like he was gonna be like, no, I'm good. I don't want no more. So he did, like, was there an apology? That didn't make you apologize. I mean, what? Um, Ma, you've met me? You think I'm an apologizer? Well, see, I don't know how things go. Even as a kid, I still wasn't apologizing. See, I don't know how things go. Was not Because I think when I got into a little squabble, yeah. I think I had to apologize. apologize. Bro. It would depend on the school system. Actually, did I apologize that, dude? I don't even know. I just remember crying. Did I apologize? I got bullied. I was getting bullied. Bro, you told me somebody... I was getting bullied. When they choked you? <laughs> locker room? Dang, I look, you used to get bullied a lot now I think about it, actually. Not only two times. When'd you, when'd you start getting muscles, bro? Because you didn't have muscles back then. That's what, because there's no way they were bullying you then if you had muscles. Nah, this, nah, so I came into school one day. And I just put my combination in my, in my locker. Opened my locker. Mm-hmm. And some dude shuts my locker. This is in the locker room. And I look up, dude. And he's kind of looking a little weird at me, but I'm like, okay. And I put in a combination again, open my locker, it slap, shut it again. I'm, I'm sitting there like, like, I'm still not really knowing what's going on. Yeah. So, like, I'm like, hey, I look at the dude, he's kind of looking at me weird. Were your friends? No. He was on the team with me, I think. But he was, so like, I do it again, <laughs> third time. Put in combination, open it up, bow, shuts it again. Now I'm like, okay, all right. <laughs> all right. I'm like, hey man, like and he's looking at me with this weird look, like he's almost like smiling. Well, he's grinning, but not he's grinning, he's but kind of hard, like a yeah. hard, like a yes, 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 like a weird <clears throat> grin. So I'm like, hey man, <laughs> shut my locker again, man. Because like I, I'm like, because I'm, I'm tired of I'm it. I'm not. Play, we're not playing a game. No. Like, we're not like. Buddies, that we're we not buddy buddy. Yeah, we're not. You know, this is my home. I'm like, bro, come on, stop playing. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, we we're not. We weren't like. That. Yeah. So I do it again. <laughs> Open it. Boom. I'm like, I, I really didn't want to do this. You gave him chances. I looked at him. I thought about not doing it, and then I just, oh, I came under because he was. I was standing. He was sitting. Yeah. Oh. Wait, what? He was sitting at the bench and just kept closing your- and just was sitting at the back, just shutting it with his hand every time. And I bang bang. Well, he was he was a bigger dude. Was, yeah, so you had him more. Yeah. I actually had to hit him it, twice yeah. to make him actually fall down. Yeah, for a fact. Then I just put myself in the locker and then shut the locker. And then he came and ran after me and pushed me in the back. And then after it got over, I just walked out. Man, got in trouble. ISS. ISS. At the end of the year, Dang. had to take all my exams. NISS room. NISS. Couldn't even cheat. Bro, that was the only reason why I was mad. <laughs> the only reason why. But Bro. I, that's probably why I failed Spanish. That is why you that is why you feel Spanish. I knew it. Because that one little look over to somebody else's paper would have would have passed you. Even if I knew the answers, I was gonna just at least take one peek. You got to, just because. I know this answer, but I'm gonna just Everybody says right. <laughs> but that was actually I've I've Fighting's not good, people. Would you not consider but that sneaking him? Though? Don't get. You said you said it was no. Awesome. I, I gave him a clear warning. <laughs> okay, I, I gave him a clear warning. Like, I don't know. I still don't know to this day what he was doing. Then he never played. What's his football. name? He never played football no more. For real? I mean that that's not. Bro, why. you made him that, no, football. That's not, that's not why. That that wasn't why. I don't think. I think he just. We do not promote bullying. Mean, he did play football. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure we won a championship together when we were kids. What? Playing basketball. So y'all been knowing each other for a minute. He just been. But a we hater. never really was friends. Like he's a hater. We kind of was maybe when we was like, nah, not really. That was a weird day, and I'll never forget it. 
Mm. I will say I did feel kind of bad because I won a state ring when I was in eighth grade. Mm. And I just happened to be wearing it that day. So I look, you had Oh, my blood. God. I had like a, a single brass knuckle. You had a little brass knuckle on it. And I remember that junk had blood in it. You could have been it. And Juvie, my boy. That's a weapon. Hey, all I know is this. That's all we got for the punch. Ronnie, we miss you. We will see you next week. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Deshaun, any last comments, thoughts, and or concerns? <sighs> thank you for having me, bro. I appreciate it, bro. It's a blessing. It's an honor. We will see you next week.